Welcome. Today we will discuss the basic functionality of the Daz Tamaya bridge. Let's start with Daz Studio. First, we'll add a figure to the scene. For this video, we'll use Victoria 9. After adding a character, you may want to give her some clothing and hair. Now let's render an image using iRay to get a reference. When you're ready to export, ensure your character is selected in the scene graph. Then go to the file menu, select Send To, and choose Daz Tamaya. Notice that Skeletal Mesh is automatically selected for the asset type. This is the asset type you want for rigged 3D models with skeletons. Then click Accept and wait for a dialog pop-up to notify you when to switch to Maya. From Maya, click the Daz Import icon from the Daz to Maya tool shelf to open the Daz to Maya bridge dialog window. Select Auto Import. Now wait for the process to complete and your Daz figure will appear in your scene. Once the process is done, double-click on the skeletal mesh asset of your Daz character. You can now compare it to the iRay render from Daz Studio. That's all for this video. I hope you found this tutorial on using the Daz Tamaya bridge helpful.